In this session, we'll be looking at the Virginia cipher. And uh, this kind of a cipher comes under Foley alphabetic substitution cipher. We'll first take a look at what is the meaning of Foley alphabetic substitution cipher. So it's simple. The same plain text letter is not always encrypted to the same cipher text letter in Foley alphabetic substitution cipher. Say you remember what we did in Caesar cipher, right? Say for instance, if you add the letter A, we just traverse three characters down and we substituted A by D. That's what is given here. The cipher for A is D, cipher for B is E, like that. Suppose if I need to encrypt A, B, A, what will be the output? It will be D, E, T. So what we understand from here is whenever the input plain text character is the same the output cipher text will also be the same so whenever i have a i'm going to have d here so here it is an a so there it is a d but in Foley alphabetic substitution cipher this is not the case so once when you have a a and the output is a d next time when an a repeats in your plain text the output can be a g so for the similar plain text we'll have a different cipher text out so that kind of a cipher is called Foley alphabetic substitution cipher and uh, Virginia cipher comes under the category of Foley alphabetic substitution cipher. We will take a look at what is this Virginia cipher. This cipher was first described by Batista Bellasso in 1553. So almost 500 years ago we had this cipher described. And this cipher was very easy to understand, implement, but it resisted all attempts to break it until 1863. For almost 300 years, they were trying to break this cipher. So that was that tough. Today, we're going to learn this cipher that took 300 years to break it. So we'll take a look at the very first step in Virginia cipher. The very first step is you select a message to encrypt. As usual, I'll select my name, Satish. I'm really happy to see my name encrypted in various uh, algorithms. So that's why I selected my name here. And uh, the next step is, as usual, we have to select a key. The key is any uh, string that contains the alphabets from A to Z. So I have selected a key, VIT here. That is the key. So we have finished step one, we finished step two. And step three, we need to expand the key such that it matches the length of the message. So I will show you how to expand this key. So I have this message, plain text message given here. And my key is VIT. So it is taking only three characters. It's equal to only three characters in my plain text. The remaining boxes are empty. How to fill this is just repeat this here. So VIT gets repeated such that the length of my plain text and my key both remain the same. So that is our step three. After this step, we're going to step four. We'll take the plain text and the key expansion that we did from our previous slide here. And now we have to use this big table. It contains uh, 26 rows and 26 columns. It's a 26 cross 26 table. So we have to use this huge table. And on the top, you can think of the columns that is meant for plain text. I'll write it here. So the columns, the top row is meant for plain text, whereas the rows here we are going to use our key, key values. So this side is for the key and this side is for the plain text. Let's begin our encryption. We have to take S from the plain text and V from the key. So where is that? We have to search for the plain text on the top. Where is S here? S is here. And uh, the key, for the key we have the left side. So we have to search for V here. V is here. And now in this uh, table, we should see where V meets S. So it's uh, a lengthy line. So here V meets S. You can see here, this is where v meets s so the value is n 
So the cipher text, so all these uh, elements here in these boxes are nothing but cipher text. The cipher text corresponding to S is identified as N. That's what is given here. Likewise, let us repeat the process. Let's take A in the plain text. Where is A? The plain text, it's here. And we have to go to I in the key. So this side is for the keys. So I is here. So let's check where A and I meets. This is the value. So we're going to have the cipher text as I. Likewise, can you try for T and T? Let me erase this uh, writings here. What about T? Where is T in the plain text? T is here. And uh, we have to find T. T in the key is somewhere over here. So where is that they meet? You can see they meet at M. So T and T intersect at M. So the cipher text for plain text T is M. Likewise, let's take I and B. So here is I. The plain text, where is V in the key? V is somewhere over here. So again, we have to traverse. And so the intersection is D. Now let us take S and I. Where is S? S is here. And where is I? In the key, it is here. So what is the intersection of I and S in this table? It is A. So our cipher text will be A. Now let us go to H and T. Where is H in the plain text? It's here. And T is somewhere or here. So an intersection of H and T is nothing but A. So A is the cipher text. The only thing you have to keep in mind is this side on the top, we are going to have the plain text characters. So whenever you take a character from the plain text, you're going to search it on the top. And whenever you're going to take a character from the key, so this is the key, right? VIT, VIT. Whenever you take a character from the key, you're going to search it from this side. And all these characters here are nothing but the cipher text output. So you just check where in a key and a plain text intersect in the table. And that particular character is the output. And that is the cipher text. So I hope you are all clear with how, how encryption happens in Virginia Cipher. Let's go to decryption in Virginia Cipher. So for decryption, we'll first take our encrypted text. What is this? It is NIMDAA. This is what we have received from our previous slide. Now let us take the key. And this is the key VIT. Again, we have to expand the key to the length of the cipher text. So I have expanded it. This is the same process as we did in encryption. And after this, we should again go and use this 26 cross 26 table to get our plain text. So while you are encrypting, you very well knew, right? What was there on the top? These were the characters for corresponding to the plain text. Whereas on the left, we had the characters corresponding to the key. And whatever you have inside is the cipher text. So now we have the key value. We have the cipher text value. We need to find the plain text. That's simple. So the key is V. Where will you search for the key? On the left hand side. So you go to V. And then the cipher text is N. So you'll go and search for N in this row. Where is N? N is here. So the corresponding character in this column, that is this particular column, the corresponding character is the plain text. So we are going to use the key and the ciphertext now to identify the plain text. So for n, what is the plain text? That is s. Likewise, can we try for i and i? So i is nothing but the cipher text and this i is the key. So we'll take the key, go to the left hand side, go to i and then where is i in this row? It is here. And what is the character, plain text character corresponding to this column? That is a. So the plain text is a. Likewise, can you try for m and t? We're going to take t. We'll go to t and we have to search for the cipher text m in the row. Where is M occurring in this row? You can see M is occurring here. So what is the corresponding plain text for that? It is T. 
that's what is given here likewise d and v can you try so what is the key v so we go to v and we search for d here where is d d is occurring here what is the plain text corresponding to this it is i so that is the output i likewise for a and i the key is i so let's go to i and where is a occurring here a is occurring in this row in this particular column so what is the corresponding plain text for that it's yes likewise for a and t t is the key right go to t where is a in this row a is here what is the plain text corresponding to this column h so like that you decrypt cipher text to plain text using this 26 cross 26 table in Virginia cipher i hope you are all clear with how you decrypt now let us go and take a look at the algebraic representation of Virginia cipher for encryption we use this uh, equation that is ci is equal to mi plus ki mod 26 so what is this mi it is the every character in your message and what is ki it is every character in your key likewise for decryption we use this formula you take every character in the ciphertext minus every character in the key plus 26 more 26 so you see here we are using some operations addition and subtraction you might be wondering how we are adding and subtracting alphabets here so for that we have a strategy we take all the alphabets starting from a to z we assign a number starting from 0 to 25 we just keep on incrementing this number until we reach z that's it so now you know how we get the values for mi and ki it's just a mapping from this table you will understand this better if we take an example and solve this so again let me take the message as satish and uh, let me consider the key to be vit so in that case what we have to do we have already learned this right we have to expand the key so i have expanded it the message and the key are of uh, same length now this is the first character in the message this is m1 and uh, this is k1 this is key 1 likewise this is m2 this is k key 2 so we have to start encrypting character by character in the message and the key let's start with m1 and k1 so c1 is nothing but m1 plus k1 mod 26 so what is the value of m1 and k1 we'll write it further here what is m1 m1 is yes what is uh, k1 k1 is v and uh, this is mod 26 what is the value of s from the table s is 18 what is the value of v v is 21 mod 26 so what is this this is nothing but 39 mod 26 so what is 39 mod 26 the remainder is 13 and uh, you can go and fetch the alphabet corresponding to 13 from this uh, box so 13 corresponds to n so n is the cipher text for the plain text s so n is the cipher text for the plain text s we have arrived to that can we go and try the next uh, pair m2 and k2 so it just substitute m2 plus k2 here that is a plus i mod 26 what is the value of a and i a is 0 what is the value of i i is 8 8 mod 26 that is nothing but 8 what is the character corresponding to 8 in this table it's i so the cipher text corresponding to a is nothing but i so we have finished encoding two of the characters can we try t t is nothing but 
this is the plain text that is m3 and this is k3 so we'll just go and substitute it here so that is nothing but t plus t mod 26 what is t here t is 19 so it's 19 plus 19 mod 26 so what is 19 plus 19 38 38 mod 26 so 38 mod 26 the result is 12 so what is the alphabet corresponding to value 12 here it is m so the cipher text is m so likewise if you try si and ht you're going to get a and a finally our encrypted value here will be n i m d a a so that's how you encrypt using the algebraic expression i hope you have understood this now let us go to decryption in virginia cipher using the expression so decryption is again you're going to take this uh, cipher text and then you're going to take the key expand it so cipher text and key are of the same length now whatever that is shown here ci is nothing but it starts from your c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 so i varies from 1 to 6 and what is ki ki is nothing but it starts from k1 k2 k3 k4 k5 k6 so i varies from 1 to 6 for the key 2 so we're going to do plus 26 mod 26 let's start uh, finding the plain text corresponding to n so what is this actually this is nothing but n minus v plus 26 mod 26 so how do you find the value of n and v you have to go to this table n here is nothing but 13 so it's nothing but 13 minus what is the value of v v is 21 plus 26 mod 26 so this is nothing but 18 mod 26 the result is 18 so what is the alphabet corresponding to the value 18 in the table it is yes so yes is now the plain text corresponding to the cipher text n can we take another example say we have i and i here so this is nothing but i minus i plus 26 mod 26 so what is i minus i that is nothing but the value of i 8 minus 8 is 0 so 0 plus 26 mod 26 what is 26 mod 26 that is nothing but the remainder will be 0 so what is the alphabet corresponding to value 0 in this table it is a so the cipher text is a for the plain text that is i so we are going to get a out let's try one more thing m and t so how will you find the value for m and t it's m minus t plus 26 what is the value of m m is 12 so 12 minus what is the value of t 19 plus 26 more 26 this is nothing but 19 mod 26 so that is equal to 19 what is the value corresponding to 19 in this table you see t so t is the plain text corresponding to the cipher text yeah so here we are going to get t out like that when you go and uh, decrypt the remaining using this, using this expression you will get ish this is the plain text corresponding to the cipher text so now we have looked at two methods one is using the table directly encrypting a uh, plain text to a cipher text and then decrypting the cipher text back to the plain text In the next method we have used this algebraic expression wherein we have uh, encrypted using the expression mi plus ki mod 26 and then we have decrypted the cipher text using the expression ci minus ki plus 26 mod 26 
So that's about Virginia Cipher. I hope you are very clear with how to encrypt and decrypt using Virginia Cipher. Thank you.